In earlier videos, we found out more about moments with the help of sensors like magnetometer, proximity meter, light meter, and so on. What if we don't have access to all these sensors? Fortunately, there is a way out. All you need is a small video clip containing movement you want to analyze. We will use this special tool of the Physic app, Kinematic Study. Let us calculate the speed of this marble rolling on the table. Marble will be released from the ruler which is slightly tilted. We will use the camera of the smartphone to create a small video. You can do variations as well, like balls of different types and sizes, changing the tilt angle and so on. Once the video clip is ready, let us open the physics app. We'll go to tool section and click on kinematic study. Let us click on my videos and open the video clip we just shot. As you can see, this video was shot at the rate of 30 frames per second, as can be seen here. This information will be used by the app to know the time difference between positions we are interested in. But how does the app know about the distance? We need to calibrate it. I can drag these two points here and enter values of the same in meters. Fifteen centimeter or zero point one five meters. You can do the same in your video as well for some known values in the scene. Now we are ready to take readings. These arrows will help us in navigation. You can click here to move the video one frame forward or click here to move the video one frame backward. Let us move some frames forward till the marble leaves the ruler. This is the first position I would like to mark. I will drag this circle here and double tap on it. Time value appears on the screen and app moves the video one frame forward as well. Let us mark more positions of the marble. With the data captured, we will move on to the results tab. Time and position data captured by the app based on our inputs is nicely presented in the tabular form. Based on this data, we can also know velocity and acceleration of the marble at that particular instance. Can you find out why the value of velocity is negative? Now you know how to calculate the speed of moving object. You can capture video clip of the motion you are interested in and use this app to find out more. I suggest you use a high speed camera for very fast moments like this ball or cars zipping past by. For faster moments, change your camera settings to higher frame rates. Do give it a try. Thank you.